Hi guys, welcome. Um, for those of you guys who are here, <laughs> I got some wing stop. This video is kind of random. I honestly was like, sorry, my eyelash got together. Um, sorry, the quality is like shit, as in like the lighting. I literally have my like iPhone light like shining at me right now. So yeah, so sorry about that. I try to find something to like, but I couldn't find anything. Anyways, so yeah, today's live is just kind of random. I I was literally like, I woke up in like such a funk today. <laughs> Thank you, Makaya. Um, but yeah, I woke up in like a, a funk. So I was like, I don't know. I just woke up like so like not motivated just kind of like moody like I, w I was just like so quiet like I didn't want to have like any noise on I didn't want to talk like I was just like kind of just in my thoughts and I don't know why I felt I feel like that so like I was like I'm gonna get ready because I feel like when I feel like when you when you're ready when you look good you feel good and you want to do stuff so like I was like I'm gonna get ready then that instantly made me feel better. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get some wing stop and go pick up some weed and enjoy my day or enjoy the night. Because I feel like my mood kind of took the day. But yeah, so when in doubt, just put on some Nicki Minaj and get ready. <laughs> like put your makeup on. Thank you, Stephanie. I'm wearing this... Um, Oh, my bedazzle came off my nail. I just want to start right now. Um, I'm wearing this red lipstick. I think it's right here, actually. It's this one. Oh, it's by Gucci. This is what it looks like. It's kind of glossy. I like it when it's more, like, kind of matte. I like more of a matte red lipstick look. But that one's cute. I took pictures and I posted them on Instagram, so go check them out if you guys haven't yet. Comment a black heart. <laughs> some emo. Anyways, I got some wing stop. So I'm like super excited to devour that. But before that, I wanted to spark one up with you guys. I'm about to get wing stop 2 a.m. drunk. What is today? Today's Sunday. Doesn't even feel like Sunday. But cheers, guys. I asked, if, I asked people to ask me a few questions on Instagram. So I'm going to be answering some of those. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't really looked at them, so I don't know, like, what like what are they. So let me just get into the first one. This is, Sorry if the lighting goes off, but whatever. Um... Hold on. Someone asked me a question. Someone said, like, why can't... Okay, this one's from an anonymous person because, like, their Instagram is kind of, like, doesn't really have nothing. But someone asked, why can't you keep friends? <laughs> I think that's a great question. Um, it's not that I can't keep friends. And I don't know why, like, where that is that even comes from. Like, I don't really, I didn't really have much, I don't really have much friends. Um, <sighs> why can't I keep friends? It's because I don't put up with shit. Like, I'm not going to put up with, like, some fake stuff or, like, I'm just not going to put up with, not, like, nothing fake or, like, non-genuine, you know? Like, I want people around me who have the best interest at heart. And, like, I don't think it's wrong to cut people off like mind like pretty much anybody who's not in my life that you saw me on the channel that's not on here you know I cut off for good reasons and I'm really happy and it was my decision to do so um which I think that anybody should do that like why would you keep fake friends around just because it makes you look like you have friends like I don't care to be I don't mind being alone so um 
And to be honest, if I'm being real, <laughs> if I'm being really honest, like I, I feel like I spared a lot of people who did me wrong. Um, if I was really upfront about what each person did, you guys would be like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I was talk about like, right. It's like, and it's also like, um, I'm like, I'm on this like platform or whatever. And like, it's been like, I feel like you guys kind of grew up with me or like people who are new or people who watch me, like, you know what I mean? Like, so obviously as years go on, like you're going to meet people, some will stay, some will go. That's just life. And I'm documenting my life. So, you know, sometimes you may see people on my channel and they may not be there next month or, or like next time, you know, um, which like one of the persons you, you had, my, you saw on my channel, like you guys know what happened with that situation. Um, I honestly felt like that person was just using me for like clout and money. <laughs> yeah. So why would I have, have that around? <clears throat> um, also the other person you saw on my channel, like, I'm just gonna be real. Like I'm, I don't give a fuck anymore. Like the other person you saw on my channel, it was Lorena. Um, which I wasn't going to talk about it, but I am because I just, like, this is why I say, like, I spare people. Um, with her, like, I feel like I was a good-ass fucking friend to her. Let me just sum up our relationship. So, like, I knew her in high school kind of briefly. Like, we were just in the same class. So, like, years later, like, many years later, like, 10 years later, we decided to hang out again. And... At, like, her opening night to her first show, like, for her theater show, like, I was the only one that went and, like, gave her flowers. I came from Arizona specifically just to see her and be a friend and support. You know, like, that's a friend, you know, like, and, um, anyways, that night I was, like, telling her, like, about Alejandro, and I was, like, oh, yeah, like, I'm gonna make out with Alejandro tonight, like, <laughs> so, like, she knew how I felt that night, like, what, like, you know what I mean? So, anyways, so that night, like, me and Alejandro start making out at the restaurant. And then literally after that, like, she got, like, she just got so upset about that. And, like, she ended up blocking, like, me and Alejandro. <laughs> Which I think is so fucking weird. So, like, all of a sudden this person cut me off as being their friend uh, because I, like, got with Alejandro. So I'm like, that's weird. It makes me think, like, maybe you weren't my friend. Maybe you're just trying to, like, you know, like, fuck me or something. <laughs> Which that's what I honestly think because it's, like, so if anyone's a bad friend, it's not fucking me. And so that, you know, I don't, you know, I just thought that was really weird. And then that person, this person, Lorena, and then the other one, both hit up my baby daddy, like, talking shit about me, which is so fucking weird. Like, despite what you feel about me, like, to do that is weird as fuck. Like, it's weird. <laughs> You're like the Taylor, Taylor Swift friends version. Yeah, I guess. But that was, that's the answer to that question. Someone said, did you see her video addressing you? <laughs> um, I didn't, I, I, people were like tagging, like DMing me, tagging me. Um, about this video that was surfacing with my name on it. Uh, I didn't watch it because I'm like, I'm not going to wa watch this weak-ass video and give this person a view. Like, I'm not going to do that. that. That shit's weird. And, like, I'm – I just think it's so fucking bizarre. Like, and that's exactly just proves my point. Like, you, just, you put my name in the title, like, I swear, just to get, like, views and have people follow you with my name on the title. Like, I just thought it was really weird. It's like – I, I didn't, I thought it was really weird. I didn't watch it. I'm not going to waste my time. I'm not going to give in to that. I just thought it was really fucking strange. <laughs> but I was like, whatever. It, it just makes me feel right about what I did, you know, like just moving forward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, okay, let's go to the next question. Someone asked, 
It did sound strange. Yeah. Um, anyways, okay, so how should a new partner treat your child? How far should they be allowed to discipline? Um, I don't think that they should be disciplining at all, like, unless, like, we're, like, married or something. Like, but other than that, I don't feel comfortable with that. I mean, unless it's, like, healthy things that you're saying, like, oh, like, you know, I don't know, just, I, I wouldn't really feel comfortable with that. Yeah. So when I ask, how's my new job going? Do you like it? Um, I like it. It's cool. Like, I like it. You guys, you guys should. If you're in LA, like, you guys should come get a table with me, and I'll like be pouring up shots with you guys. But yeah, if you're in LA, pretty much. But I like it. Like everybody's nice. Like everybody's like welcoming. They're very helpful. Um, nobody's like mean or like, just like, I don't know, like mean or anything like that. So I, I like that. I was worried about that, honestly. Like, I'm like, is somebody going to be giving me a hard time or something? Someone said, ask a great question. When and how to leave a toxic relationship? I've, I've been there, so it's, like, it's super hard. It's really hard. And I don't it, – it sounds – I don't know. But honestly, like, even though you're scared of, like, you don't know what to do, maybe you don't even know where to live. Like, I honestly would just make that move and just, like, get up and go, like, and just, you know, be with family or something in the meantime till you figure it out. But I definitely wouldn't – I would never I, – I don't know. I, I'm just – I've been there, so I'm, like, if I was ever in that situation again, I definitely wouldn't sit there and put up with it at all. Like the second I feel like that, like, I would definitely start considering, like, strategize, like strategizing my way out. Like, start making a plan for sure. I don't know if that really answered your question. Sorry. Just make your move, I guess. Did you, do you feel better after chatting with us? You said you were in a funk. Yeah, I do feel better, actually. I feel like, I feel good expressing myself and just, like, chit-chatting or whatever. So, yeah, it does make me feel better, so thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Patty Cakes. Ew, I do not like Burger King. I do not fuck with Burger King. I, I like, Wingstop is, like, the only thing I eat that's kind of, like, I guess, like, fast food. And Wendy's. <laughs> oh, huh. someone said, "Girl, I had the hardest day. I was going to bring my baby home from the, his dad, and he was refusing to give him to me. That feeling broke my heart. Oh, I've been there before too. That's really tough. You should. Do you have? You should go to court." And get paperwork so you have set days. That way, when he tries to do that again, you can make a courtesy call to the police and they'll do a, I forgot what it's called. But if you show them the paperwork, like, honestly, actually, the cops won't do nothing. I've been there before. You're going to have to do just document it. Like, if you have court orders, document it, then go to court, show it to them. And they're the ones who would say something or do something to him, to, like, since he's taking kind of your days. Just, like, go to court and have set days. <laughs> So you don't have to deal with that. Sorry you're dealing with that, though. It's very tough. I've been there. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Chanel. I think I'm saying it right. Someone said, what if you have no money and nowhere to go? I'm assuming you're talking about leaving a toxic relationship um that's why i said like if you don't have money to go like make, call, call a family member and tell them like what you're going through if they're family they should be more than why wouldn't they like get you out of a toxic relationship even though that's not their responsibility you got yourself in there i'm fully aware of that but still it's family and shit happens in life so if you 
we're going through that, I would reach out to a family member and let them know if you could stay there for at least like a couple, like, I don't know, some time until you figure out your situation. Um, but yeah, I know if I had a family member and they were in a toxic relationship, but I mean, that's what I would do. Like, I would tell them to stay with me as long as they want until they figure out where to go. Because I'd rather them have them there and be happy and start healing rather than be with some psychotic person and be like starting to get depressed. Like, and also like go get a job, like start, like, like I said, strategizing your way out. Like, I love you back in the Toyota Corolla days. I never had a Toyota. What are you talking about? Everyone's like, you're glowing. Thank, thank you. It's like the lighting's all shit. Uh, what is your favorite spiritual topic? Hmm. Spiritual topic. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what, the, like, spiritual topic. Advice on confidence. That one's really hard. I actually was going to do a video. Oh, let me change this on. I like this song. I listened to this song. I was listening to this song today because I was like all in my emo, emo mood. That's a great question. So someone said, did you ever have to deal with your daughter's father? father's family bad mouthing about you to your daughter and if so how did you go about the situation um i mean i'm on i'm i i don't know if they i don't i don't know if that happened or not uh i have a feeling it did but i never found out about that so but i'm sure they talk about me i'm sure they see my videos like but i don't know I don't think they're a fan of me, but <laughs> I don't care. Do more cooking videos. You can tell you cook good. Um, I I just I don't know. Like I'm so hard on myself when it comes to cooking. I I don't know. I'm really hard on myself. I swear. I don't know. I like. I'm trying to perfect. Hold on. I'm trying to like perfect, like trying to make apple pie, like homemade apple pie. Like I'm talking about get the apples, like the dough and all that. Like I tried doing it three times. Each time it gets better, but it's the crust part that keeps like, I don't make enough dough for it to go on the other side, like cover the full pie, if that makes sense. I really want to perfect that, especially for winter, because I want to make like homemade apple pies. I just love warm like apple pie with ice cream. So I was like, I really want to learn how to ho make homemade apple pie. Yeah. I remember the car vlogs days too. I stayed in my car. Like I stayed in my car doing videos. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I was all happy too. Do I feel depressed? No, I'm not depressed. I've been depressed before and I'm not depressed. I'm just, I'm just, I asked myself that. I was like, what's wrong with me? Because I feel like when you feel like in a funk, that's your body's way of telling you like some something's wrong. Like, you know, you're not, you're not happy about something, something's bothering you. So I feel like I faced that and I found what was really bothering me and yeah. But no, I'm not depressed. I just feel, I feel, I think why, why I was in a funk, when I think I know why I was in a funk is because, like, I just honestly, I feel defeated. Like, I feel like I keep, I keep, like, I feel like I keep trying my best and I keep getting pushed back. And... <laughs> 
And that's another thing. Like, I've been so emotional and, like, tired. I'm like, I don't know why. So, anyways. So, today I woke up and I was, I felt defeated. Well, I've been feeling like that. But today, it was just, like, finally, like, it bothered me. And I was, I was just thinking about it. And I was thinking about... Kind of like, I know I feel like that, but I always try to reason with myself and, like, be understanding and not be so hard on myself. So I'm not depressed. I'm just defeated. I feel defeated. I felt. Maybe I still do, but. Someone said, hold on. I don't like this one. Um, someone said, I love your video. Oh, hold on. Someone said, I love your videos. And you have as a person. I'm also Sagittarius. I'm going through a difficult time right now. Do you have any advice for a 22 year old? Well, what kind of advice? Like, what kind, What do you need advice in? Like, just ask me a question. Like, because I feel like I'll just start, like, spewing out things. Can we, like, be a little bit more specific? Someone just said the eclipse season. What does that mean? Someone said, have grace for yourself. You barely have anyone supportive around you. You're doing really well. I think that's what bothers me. Like, it's like, I do feel defeated. And sometimes I feel like I'm all by, like, I'm by myself, like, with these feelings. Like, I wish I can, like, I don't know. Maybe it is the fucking moon. Oh, my God, don't say that. (laughs) Someone said, girl, take a pregnancy test. Fuck that. Like, I would literally, like, oh, my God. It's not that, though, because I've been pregnant before, so I know what it feels like, and I feel like my breasts would be tender, and I would be vomiting or something for morning sickness, but I don't feel that. I feel normal. I just feel tired and hungry, that's all. It's Mercury retrograde. (laughs) It's this fucking moon. (laughs) You guys are funny. Anyways, let's go to the next question. So, hold on. <laughs> so, said how to be in your feminine energy. Um, I was actually going to make a video about that. So, like, um, that's, like, a video coming soon. Because it's interesting because, like, I get that question a lot, like, Like, a lot. So, and I've never done a video on it. So, I'm like, maybe I'll just chat about that. Someone said, what's your top five songs right now? Uh, That's a good question. Let's go to... I need to eat these wings. I'm like hungry. Metaphor, metamorphosis. Put on love scars.
someone said, I, this was a good, great question. Someone said, I feel like you fell off your YouTube game. You were so consistent and growing, but you kind of slowed down. Why? That's a good question. Um, <laughs> it's because, like, I'm not like those, like, you, I don't know, like, I'm not going to, I'm like not those YouTubers who are going to like fake, I don't even know if this has anything to do with it, but I'm like not those YouTubers who are going to fake and stage a video for, for clout or like views, like, um, and like, I don't know, like these Gen Z's are taking over. Like, have you seen these Gen Z videos? Like, I'm like, I cannot, I cannot compete with that. Cause I'm not going to do some weird stuff like that. Like, I don't know. Like. And also, like, I'm, I feel like I'm growing older and I am interested in different things now. So, like, I think now when I do YouTube, it's really just me, like, feeling like, oh, I just want to showcase my life, just documenting my life. It's really not like, oh, I want to do this for people's views. Like, I need this. Like, I want views. I'm more Now I feel like I'm just, like, really documenting my life. It's, so I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> I do need to be more consistent or maybe I shouldn't be like that. But I don't know. I just look at it like that. And I feel like that's to me is just more genuine. Like, um, yeah, so I just feel like ultimately I feel like I'm just growing up and like I'm I'm in I'm wanting different things like or I'm interested in different things. Like, and I don't know. I do need to stop that though because I need to like I know I could it could grow more if I'm more consistent like I'm slacking like am I posting like what like every fucking once every two weeks like that's bad yeah sometimes like I think that's what it is Sammy <laughs> No, it's not a man. Okay, okay. This is like, okay, so the last relationship I was in, this person did not let me want me to do YouTube at all. And like, I was like a dumbass and like trying to like, be like, all right, like, I don't know, I didn't say all right, but I, I, I noticed it's like, I was not doing it as much or so I feel like I need to just get back in that groove. I don't know. I don't know, but you are right. I need to be more consistent. That is definitely, I'll take that constructive criticism. Like, I, I need to get my shit together. I just feel like my life's in the air right now. So I'm like, I'm like to really sit down and like, I'm like, I'm just going to start to just do vlogs. <laughs> just day by day. I'm just taking it day by day. Yeah, like I can't do some staged or fake stuff. And I think because I, I do YouTube, but I feel like I can, I don't know if you guys recognize it when you guys see other people's channels or like other YouTubers, you can tell when the topic, like, I don't know, like just the video is fake or whatever. Not fake, or it's like, I don't know how to explain it. These are the wings. I'm so excited. Okay, so. <laughs> I think it's so weird eating on the internet, like, but, so I'm probably just gonna eat, like, two wings. So this is what it looks like. I got mega habanero and uh, garlic parm. <laughs> I could vlog at my job. Yeah, maybe I'll, I was thinking of doing that. How do you budget? <laughs> you tell me. I'm not... I'm like the worst at saving money. Oh, thank you. Someone said my hair looks nice. You guys are fun. I'm such a loser. Oh my god. <laughs> I 
Someone said, why do you no longer have your intro anymore? Because um, my old computer, Coca-Cola spilled on my um, computer and it was like damaged. So the intro and the documents and everything was in that video. I mean, that computer. So when I got my new computer and I told the person who made it, if they could resend it to me and they never sent it to me. So I don't have access to that intro anymore. It sucks, but I'm going to do a new one. No, I didn't dye it light brown. It's just fading away. Actually, I need to dye it again. My favorite, my favorite hair color on me is like dark brown, like kind of like a brown black hair color. Can you guys hear my music? <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> that's a great question. Someone said, what are two red flags in a relationship? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, there's so many that come to my head. It's just like someone who's like, I think it's a red flag. Say, for example, like you tell someone like, oh, it bothers me that you do this. And then they're just like, oh, you're crazy. You're lecturing me. You're this, you're that. Instead of just saying like, oh, well, okay, well, I won't do that again. Or, or I'm sorry that, that, or what about it offends you or whatever, like communicating. Kind of like, a, I don't like someone who gaslights. Like, that's a fucking red flag. Like, I want to be able to communicate like and. Like, I don't, like, just someone trying to make me seem like I'm fucking crazy, like, just for asking basic questions or, or kind of setting my boundaries, you know? Um, I think red, another red flag is, <laughs> I don't know. I can't really answer that because sometimes I feel like I could be a little toxic myself. I don't, I know personally for me, I don't like whining. Like, I don't like people who like whine. Like, like oh, what about me? What about, you know, like, like, I don't like that. Oh, thank you. Do I plan on stop smoking weed in the future? I mean, yeah, I like that. I would want to stop. Oh my God, yes, Elizabeth. Yeah, I fucking hate that. Ugh, I should that should have been my answer. She said a red flag trying to change you. It's, Yes. I hate that. It's like you. It's just so weird. <laughs> like, I'm, I feel like that always happens to me, though. Like, people try to change how I dress, you know, how I. Um, things I do. I think it's a red flag if someone doesn't, if your partner doesn't post you on their social media. Some may think not, but I think so. It's like, what are you hiding? Like, why would you not be proud? <laughs>
Right? Yeah. I would just... <laughs> It's a major red flag. Yeah, it makes me feel like, oh, like, do you not want someone, is someone watching your page? Like, are you trying to portray that you're single? Or is somebody from the past watching your stuff and you don't want them to know? Like, what the fuck is it? Like, you know what I mean? So I think it's a red flag for sure. These movies are good. I was like craving these all day. Mm, let me just change this song. Have I had fire wings? It's better than Wingstop. Is that a place? Is that in LA? Got my eyelashes keep like sticking together. <clears throat> What's the age limit on dating guy? Like the oldest I'll date if I was single. Um, I don't know. Um, only 55. <laughs> Is that bad? Hey, Milo, Milo. Thank you, Rolisha. Yeah, I feel like age is nothing but a number as long as you look good, you know? <laughs> wow, I feel like I've been on this like live way longer. It's only been 30 minutes. Someone said the older, the more mature. I don't know about that, but I feel like the older, they know what's up. Like, they know, like, how to treat you, like, without you having to tell them. Yeah, I like older men. I would never date someone who's my age. I've said this many times. Like, I feel like... I feel like if I dated a guy my age, I would just ruin him. You know, I would just break his little heart. I'm not going to do that. I think he would fall in love with me. <laughs> Let me just turn up that music, so... Anyways, I'm going to hop off this live soon. I think I'm just going to enjoy these wings and 
it by myself and watch a show or something. I want to watch like a movie. What movie do you guys recommend to watch right now? Someone said what flavor wings? They're mango habanero and garlic parm. They're so good. <laughs> do I enjoy my own company? I really do. <laughs> Ew. But yeah, I do. I feel like I need it sometimes. I feel like I need to be by myself sometimes just to recharge and just really just just have some me time. Yeah, I really do enjoy being alone by myself. Yeah, oh, um, actually, I do want to feel a little scared tonight. What's a scary movie? I mean, yeah, something really scary, though. Oh, my God, have you guys seen Veronica? That movie scared me because it's realistic. I thought it was, like, pretty realistic. I, I can see that happening. I'm dead as well. <laughs> Do you ever crave being alone or single sometimes? I feel like being in a relationship can be draining, Elizabeth said. I definitely don't like being single. I don't miss it. I like being in a relationship. I love, I'm just such a relationship person. Like, I love love. But I can see the other half of your point. Like, it does take a lot of work. Like, <laughs> but I don't. I don't like being single. The Hunting Connecticut. I should watch that one. Anyways, anyways, I'm going to head out. I'm just going to chill for the rest of the day. It's literally what I did all day. I'm so dehydrated. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm going to do the rest of the night is just eat some wings and watch a scary movie. I'm going to take off my makeup right now. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like getting wing stop and getting ready did make me feel better than going and getting a joint. But yeah, good night. Um, thank you guys for tuning in on the live and like chit-chatting. But have a good day. Bye.